What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I wanna wish all you fathers out there a happy Father's Day and I uh, hope you guys have a nice day with the family. So you guys will be watching this on Father's Day so I wanted to wish you guys a happy one. So today we're gonna be shooting the golf cart with that candy brandy wine and we're doing it a little different on this one. We're using a solvent base and we're using some PPG products for the primer and sealer. You guys know if you watched the last video. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm wiping this down right now with a prep saw, and uh, we sanded this with 400 DA with a soft pad. Just went around it. You guys know we guide coated that in the last video. And then I went ahead and now I'm wiping it with a damp rag. Just wring out your rag, keep it moist, and don't make it too wet, and just wipe that around your panel because I didn't have any waterborne cleaner here. I'm using a solvent. And this really cuts down on the static. It grounds out the panel and I really like it. So now we're gonna be using our crystal tack rag that you guys know is my favorite tack rag out. It's got no lint and it's made for the water base, but it works great on solvent and anything that you guys are using. And uh, to me, it's the best tack rag out. Crystals, even the old ones, the big ones they had were really good. So I put my jacket on that way I cut down on the lint and I tacked it one more time. And today we're using the PPG sealer, the gray. It's a really good top of the line sealer. I used to use this a lot and I had this over at my place for a couple of jobs I did a while back. But we put on one nice coat with the ProLite and that's got the 1.2 head and at about 23 PSI I'm spraying that gun for the sealer and it puts it down nice. You know, PPG is a good line. I use it for 10 years and uh, didn't have any issues with it. So any painter should be able to use whatever product there is and you may like ones better, but they're all good stuff. When you get to uh, you know a high-end company, most of the top of the line companies all have good stuff. So this here is their sealer and this is actually their EnviroBase uh, line of sealer. So uh, there it is, sheening out nice. It's got more of a satin look than the uh, Sherwin does and it seems to be more like talky, but it's a good product and it worked well on this one here. So we are gonna be using the actual Deltron base on this. I had a, had them mix me up a pint of the KAD in the solvent. That way we could use solvent because it's it dries faster and uh, works well over at my place better because I have a cross flow booth and I don't have any heat. So I went with the solvent. And this here is the lighter KAD and I haven't sprayed solvent in a while, so I went real light when I was putting my coats on because you guys know sometimes that solvent likes to react. And I said, I don't want to deal with that today. So we went nice and easy, put on a nice dust coat for the first coat to make sure that we didn't have any problems. And uh, it, it definitely sprayed nice, but I do like water base better for sure than the solvent base. So I'm used to spraying water now. So whenever you get used to spraying something, you get used to it and uh, you kind of get accustomed to that and the way it works. So I like putting on my my base wet now because of the water and with solvent, you want to put on the base a little lighter than uh, water base. So you can see here, you can see through the base still because I was going light with it. And uh, we just went ahead on this. We actually put three coats of the base. I made sure I hit all my edges. I banded my edges and went around and then I actually put one nice dust coat over the whole top of this thing to make sure it was even so that we didn't have any modeling. And then I went in with my phone because I didn't have a sunlight at the time to check the uh, coverage and I was covered on it. So here it is all finished up, drying and uh, looking good. It, was, it, it did lay out nice for a solvent. It's been a while, like I said, that I've sprayed base coat and a solvent but definitely laid out smooth and it was a nice sheen on it and it was clean so i wasn't too worried about having any problems with it so we went ahead let it flash off and then we move into our candy and this is the uk01 brandy wine the true urethane candy this isn't a base coat candy and we're using the dv1 with the 1.4 we just put one nice coat nice and even on this thing went around it and uh that DV1 lays that, that candy out like you wouldn't believe. And to me, the only candies I spray are UKs because there's nothing that looks like them. You can get the vivid look from the candy, but you won't have that depth because of the urethane. 
and it stacks on top of each other and gives you that look that you can't really duplicate with anything other than a true urethane candy. So I see a lot of guys spraying these base candies, but they just don't have that same look. And that's why to me, they're harder to spray, but they look way better in the end. So we put one coat on and when you're spraying a smaller part, you can definitely put it on heavier because you don't have to worry about blotching it and streaking it as much because it's a smaller part. That's why I told you guys, try something out small first till you get the hang of it. And now we're putting on coat two just putting it on a little wetter each time I put another coat on I put it on a little bit wetter than the first coat because you don't have to worry about streaking it the first coats the one you got to go easy on the most because if you streak that panel you can't get out of it so every move you make with a true candy changes the color so you have to use full you know passes with your gun over the whole part and make sure you're consistent or you'll have dark spots streaks and runs if you don't really watch what you're doing but there's the second coat looking good and we went ahead and we put three coats of this candy on this one we didn't do four like i did on my car because it was a smaller part and i could actually put it on a little wetter and put more on so like i said speed distance and everything you do with a candy matters so you really got to watch what you're doing but it really looks nice on this golf cart and i think she's gonna love it so we're going to put one more coat on here of the candy and then we'll be clearing it and I'm using the DV1 on this one for the clear and the candy. So you guys know I did that on my car and it came out nice. That DV1 really sprays that candy phenomenal, breaks it up and lays it down flat. Even though it's a slower gun, you want to have a slow gun when you're spraying candy. You don't want something hosing it on. And on this one, we went ahead and used the EC530 clear to finish it off with the PPG. So on top of the uh, House of Color. So like I said, we used the, the primer, the sealer, and then the clear from PPG, but we used the House of Colors Candy UK. And this thing just came out beautiful. I've done it before, you know, it's urethane, so you can put them on top of each other and you won't have any problems. You just don't want to wait too long, but look at that gloss job came out phenomenal with that uh candy the 530 over the top of that house of colors really looks good and it laid down flat and clean i was real real happy with it so check out the body on this thing clean nice and uh looking good so i hope you guys liked it i think she's gonna love it give me some thumbs ups and subscribe if you're new to the channel we're gonna finish this thing up soon here. We got new wheels coming for it. We gotta do a little candy on the wheels, the interior, and everything else is brand new on it. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one.